What's up guys? We're finally at the moment that I have been waiting for all week. That is to pull my void shards and see if I get lucky this time. I have a good amount, 50 is pretty much as much you're gonna get without buying them. Maybe like 55 is the one that I had most at some point. But they have been doing this super annoying thing lately. Like you guys might have noticed that we have like 15 summoning events every week. There's hardly any days without some type of summoning event. Plarium is really trying to milk the player super hard this year. That is apparent. We, we even got the like prism shards and prism souls and all different types of ways for people to <laughs> wail out and buy shards. The, the kind of maybe even scam the players a little bit that the prism shards nowadays are much better way to get champions than ancients or sacreds. And of course we got primals and everything else. Most of the meta stuff... Most... Yeah, probably most of the meta stuff right now is primals. Void used to be the main thing that kind of made our rogue accounts. Some of the key voids are still super important like Sifi and Maritska and so on. But we're kind of moving on to the primals. But yeah, I had to wait all weekend. I mean, I was waiting for the summoning event already at the start of the week when I knew we were going to get this. But on Friday and Saturday, I really wanted to pull. But of course, I didn't want to pull during the Riho 15 axe and Demon is my chance to get good uh, Void Champion. Not that Riho isn't great, but not really a PvP champion. Riho actually was kind of uh, relevant at some times during the Classic Arena meta, but that's maybe like maybe like two years ago during during my golden days. And even back then, Riho wasn't that big deal, but she definitely was used to counter some CC teams and so on. But let me show you where I'm at with the voids at this point. I mean. I do have a good amount of voids. Well, actually, let's filter out the <laughs> epics. Okay, so here we are with the voids. It kind of looks like a lot. Gr granted, a uh, bunch of these voids are guaranteed champions and like fusions and so on. M most of them are not pulled. Maybe like half of them are pulled and half of them are free ones. That's where I'm at. It definitely could be a little bit better. I mean, everybody, of course, always feels like they get the short end of the straw. I definitely would say. Like, not just by the amount of... Um, the, the type of champions that I have, but the amount that I have gotten is, like, terrible. But I am sure everybody feels that way. And the one good void that I had is Necret, which I have gotten three of, as you can see. It's kind of out of the meta right now with White King Narses and the defense in Classic Arena being very different. He's definitely usable in Live Arena. Even there though, he isn't that popular. There are so many champions that either use block buff debuff or they ignore shields and or something like Narses who just gets extra damage if you have shields on the enemy team. But even there, He's in that great right now, might be in the future, but he's by far the best Void Champion that I have pulled. Unless we count like Akrisia and Duhanarak, but these are like PvE Champions, not for PvP. Rest of them, pretty much nothing else that is, <laughs> is that big deal for PvP. Maybe Initve. He's been good at times and definitely was useful for me just a while ago. But I definitely could use a Void Champion. There's quite many of them nowadays, but still way less than Legendaries and... I mean, less than like non-Voids, non-Primals. We need a kind of new, new word for them, because in the past we used to talk about Void Champions and non-Voids, but now you need to spe specify that when you talk about normal Champions, it's non-Void, non-Primals. I don't know if there's a better word for it, but yeah, anyway, let's see what we get today. I hope I get lucky. I hope you guys get lucky. I don't know if everybody 
pulled already on like Friday or Saturday? Or did you also wait for a Sunday to pull like me? But let's see what we get. Actually, let me start a little bit more. Let's actually quickly take a look. What voids do I even really care about? Because the issue is of course that even if we do get the void, most of them I don't care about. But okay, Chuchen, Yumeko, Sifi. I mean, they're, they're the typical ones. It's a minority of voids that are relevant. Unlike Primals, where most of them are good. George, it would be good. Not really for my account, so we're only really thinking about a couple different voids. Yeah, I mean, Sifi would be the one that I want, to be honest. She might not be the most... Um, most... Well, she's always been meta. I don't think there ever has been... <laughs> there definitely has never been a time where Sifi wasn't a meta champion. Not, not even like... <laughs> A single time since her release but people often kind of forget about her because she's kind of old void champion and it pretty much goes without saying that any end game player is gonna have Sifi because she's such a big deal pretty much everybody does but yeah I, I guess there's actually very few voids that I really truly want to get there's many kind of good ones but the best ones would be like Lockout or Sifi, that's really what I want, and the Ukraine duo, but let's get any out of those and I would be super happy. Come on. I think we're just gonna go with 10 pulls. No, no, no single pulls today, actually let's do the 5 single pulls and then, then we will finish, but after that long long speed, I'm just gonna speed run my pulls and hope that I get lucky. I mean, you definitely could say voids to pull during the fusions but i think most people don't do with don't do that with voids you either pull during 2x or in 15x if you have a, if you're close to pity pull with a good 15x champion and you're just gonna save your secrets for the mandatory fusion pull so i'm not gonna do that i'll pull my secrets for it when i need to and yeah, I've always pulled these in the two guys. We're not gonna get pity pull today, but after this I might be close to pity pull, so... Well, not that close, but getting close to it. Maybe like, uh, maybe in three months I guess I'll have my pity pull, if I don't get it today. Come on. Just be my lucky today. Lucky today. Lucky day today, come on. Let's see some... some CFs. I don't even want to see lightning because if it's just a, a random bad void, I'm still gonna be disappointed. So let's just see Sifi, not not even lightning. Just give me Sifi. It's always been a dream of mine in raid to have both Sifi and Rotos to get the duo. They have always been super impactful. At this point, they are kind of out of um, out of the meta at this at least in classic arena, but. Um, they are so good that they are never really out of the contention. Come on. I truly don't care about single epic. I know there might be some people that will be super excited about man eater or getting multiple void epics. I'm, I'm way way past caring about any of those. Probably some epics would be good for Curse City, to be honest, but I'm not really thinking that far ahead. Come on. Okay, I guess that's gonna be a nope. Yeah, 45 shards. It's not that high chance to get what you want, but it is what it is. Maybe I'm saving my luck for primal shards. That That's at least what I'm gonna tell to myself. I hope I'm not gonna get my first primal shard pull with with the pity i truly hope we can avoid it but like i mentioned earlier at least right now i feel like it might change in the future but vast majority of the primal champions are very good some of them of course are better than others but there's only few truly bad primals and even something like siegfund was buffed so i feel like they are trying to keep all of them super good, so... 
I hope I'll get lucky with those and and then I can then I can uh, forget the years of painful void pulls and so on. I think I played the game for like three years when I get, got my second uh, void legendary champion. Later on we started getting more voids and it kind of um, I think I'm at like 10 or 11 or something like that for void pulls at this point. But yeah, I got my second at three years of playing the game, so... The, the, the void, void Champions have always been a touchy subject for me and super painful. Even though I know Akrisia is super good, Nexet is super good, but... I wish I had gotten something else. But anyway, I, I think many, many people tuned in to see again me get unlucky and complaining about my voids. I mean, not getting a top tier legendary out of like getting one of those like let's say five best void champions out of 50 or whatever with 50 shards. Obviously I'm not unlucky based on just these pulls, but yeah. Anyway, for those people that got unlucky this week and or like not just this week but overall and feel the pain i i can feel it too i don't know what else can i say about that but good luck with your pulls hope you don't get frustrated i'm kind of past crying about the pulls i mean i cry about them but i don't take it too seriously but that's it have a nice weekend and see ya